Okay, on this one, we're looking for the indicated domain, and it says find the domain of f divided by g. <clears throat> so if f is our numerator, and that's this function, it would go on top over, so on top we'll have a 2x minus 5, and then the denominator is the g of x, which is this function. So down on the bottom, we have the square root of x plus 4. Okay, the two functions, the numerator is linear, right? So the domain for a linear function is simply negative infinity to positive infinity because lines stretch across the entire x-y axis. Now, the square root, um, it says the square root of x plus 4, this one, if you just look at the square root of x plus 4, um, the x plus 4 has to be greater than or equal to 0 when you are just dealing with the radical because the smallest thing that you can take the square root of is 0. You can't take the square roots of negatives, you go into imaginary land. However, because this square root sign is also in the denominator, you cannot, it cannot be an equal to. So I have to take that out. Which means that x has to be greater than a negative 4. And since this, this interval would be, um, let's see, it would be negative 4 to infinity. Every single um, every single number in this interval is also in this one, and you're looking for where these two intersect, and so they'd intersect at this one. So this is your answer because you're putting the two functions together. So you want the intersection of the two functions. So. That, that would be it. All right, so that's number eight. And then number nine is the difference quotient. It says construct and simplify the difference quotient. Okay. <clears throat> um, if you're doing an f of x plus h minus an f of x all over an h, I am already given f of x. f of f of x is a 4x plus 8. So when it says minus f of x, you're going to put the 4x plus 8 right there behind the minus sign. It's minus all of f of x, which is 4x plus 8. That's that. And then I have the over h in the bottom. Now the hard part is the f of x plus h. Now, if it had said f of 7, wouldn't you have just put the 7 where the x is, and then you would have said 4 times 7 is 28, and 28 plus 8 is 36? Or if that had said f of 1, you still would have put it right here and said 4 times 1 is 4, plus 8 is 12. Well, it doesn't say f of 7, and it doesn't say f of 1. It says f of x plus h. So... For the x plus h, you're going to put the x plus h right there where that x is. So that this is going to be 4 times an x plus h plus 8. And I'll just put all that in brackets so you can see it as that function. That's f of x plus h. There you go. And now we have to simplify this mess. So let's see, I'm going to start by distributing the four here, and that's going to give me, in my numerator, four x plus four h. I'll still have the plus eight here, and I really don't need the grouping symbols. And then back here, I'll distribute the minus sign so that's going to be a minus 4x minus 8. 
all over H. And then some stuff is going to cancel out. This 4x will cancel a minus 4x, and a plus 8 will cancel a minus 8. So all we're left with in the numerator is the 4h over an h. And then the h over h cancels out. So we're left with 4. And that's my answer for number 9. All right. And then, come on. Not moving. There we go. Number 10. Okay, number 10. Find g of f of 14. Okay, that's going to be g of f of 14. So we are putting the 14 into the f function first, which is here. So this is going to be g of 14 minus 2 over 6, which is 12 over 6, which is g of 2. And now we're going to calculate g of 2. And so g of 2 we're going to use the g of x function, which is 8x plus 3. So this is going to be 8 times 2 plus 3, which is 16 plus 3, which is a grand total of 19. And that's number 10. And I got enough space on here, I think, to do one more. Yep. And then this one wants f of g of x, so that is f of g of x, which means you're going to take the g function and plug it into the f function where x is. So what I'm really calculating is f of a 5x minus 1. So that's going to be 6 times a 5x minus 1 plus 8. And then I'll distribute and combine like terms. And so that my final answer is 30x plus 2. And that's number 11. All right, I'm going to stop it here.